Greetings! My name is Kobing and welcome to the second tutorial. This time we'll be tackling the CC. Now as you can see I will use the mats that I used uh, to create in the materials tutorial that I showed you guys last time. Now we will be moving on to the CC and let's just jump right in. As you can see I already rendered a frame right here that's 50 samples and I set the resolution to 40%. I know the quality will be worse but the rendering will be faster and it won't be as laggy, hopefully. So, how I always do my CC is I start with an RGB curves and just give it more contrast. Now, I usually do it like this, but you can play around with the S, you can move it down, you can move it up, and I will move it somewhat like right here, I think. Now, the, the next thing I do is I basically add a color correction and um, put the all the gain to 1.3 and the saturation to like 0.9, the highlights and the midtone saturation to something like 0.8, and maybe I should increase the gain. I don't know, you, you just try around with your values. Again, I it's, it's not the settings that I use permanently. Um, it's just I vary from different materials. Next off is the color balance and basically what I do here, I don't give this too much blue. What I do is I put the gamma here to a little bit of blue and then the gain on the opposite direction to compensate a bit. I will make the shadows a bit darker and I will gain more. Maybe that's too bright. So I will move it like this and there we go. So what you could do now is basically add a glare. And as you can see, I uh, down here, you can see the screencast keys. Um, that's why I left that tab open. Um, basically you could add just like a fog glow uh, or whatever. Usually what you could do and could be maybe simpler is set this to add right here, duplicate this, set this to multiply and give it color. You could do this and then decrease the fact. Make sure it's on the bottom input of the add node so you can do this. And there we go, somewhat like that. I would do this as like the highlight glow. So what I will basically do for the general glow is I will duplicate this, add an RGB to black white get the multiply node, an RGB curves, and a blur node. So I pump up the um, image's brightness so it'll get rid of the shadows a lot more and I can blur the whole picture to something like 12.23. I don't know. Um, set the multiply maybe to maybe 0.9 and set this in the bottom input as again and the original as the upper input as you can see um, and as like a general glow I would decrease the fact though and there we go that's basically it for my CC um, what you could do is uh, you could make this um, abstract I don't know how you could abstract but like so basically you could play play play, play with uh, the contrast here. I don't know if that makes a bit much different. You play with this contrast and like this contrast and that contrast. How about some diversity set to zero? You can play with this gamma and gamma and the thing goes <coughs> <coughs> Um sorry. Um Well <laughs> that's basically uh, it for my CC. Now if you want like some shine, well how I do it is basically with a sunbeams node. A color ramp right here. Some of says I don't know the value to like 0.15, I'm not sure. And basically what I do is I check backdrop if you use a viewer node so you have like a separate tab, then it's efficient. And then basically what I do is I decrease its brightness. How about this one? And check use alpha. Um, decrease its brightness to just only get the shine where the highlights are. That's perfect. 
Now I will use a f f filter node. Set this to soften. Duplicate set this to Kirsch. And then I usually blur it. Now the Kirsch filter looks different based on your resolution, so I don't really recommend using a Kirsch filter, but I'll still do it, because why the hell not? Again, I will use a multiply node, make this a little bit more white than usual, so set this to 0.8, and I will get an alpha over, and set this to the upper input, so the image is in the bottom input, and this one's the upper input, and as you can see, there is no shine to be seen, I... what? Hold up, did I render with... Yeah, make sure you have to check the transparent, and I will see you after I rendered it. So as you can see here, my shine is a little bit too long, so I'll decrease it in length. And there we go, that's... It's maybe too bright... What did I do? Uh-oh. No, Blender, please don't crash. Blender! Blender! Blend... Alright, I'll re-render. Alright, there we go. Re-rendered, and then I decrease the brightness. Like a bit. Right here. Yeah. And if that's... Whoops. Shut up, phone! And if it's too little contrast for you, what you... SHUT UP, phone! And if it's too little contrast for you, you could decrease like the gain of the shadows right here. But I like to usually keep it. And set the gamma to something like, like decrease the gamma to increase contrast. And I think I'll leave it with that. Now this is how I do my CC. Basically I vary as well. Um, what you could do here is go right here and then play with the exposure and the gamma. That's what I usually do as well. But I only do it if my CC sucks and I'm not happy with it. Now this is basically it for the CC tutorial, hopefully you guys could learn something, again, um, next up will probably be the animation tutorial, I am not sure. Again, there it, uh, it's time for the encourage, uh, cur encouragement time, please really just try around, like, on, like the color correction, color balance and the RGB curves give you so much um, not so much, but so many options just to try around. There's so many like options right here. What you could do is like increase the lift of the midtones, which you probably shouldn't. But hey, you could like increase or decrease the midtone star value. Basically, vary. You can move the S up or down, like right here. It doesn't really look that bad, but actually, it looks pretty good. Huh. Well, anyways, you do what you want. This is basically just a short tutorial of how you could do your CC. And why is that so zoomed in? Why is it... Well, it's Blender. And I will uh, hopefully... Wait, I s probably should decrease this. Because it's a little bit too bright. No? No? No, does it even change anything? Yeah, I'll leave that to one. Well, anyways, guys, have a nice day.